Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists social media influencers with management contract issues. Today, I'm going to talk about what needs to be included in a social media influencer management contract. So first, uh, a management contract for a influencer is going to be between the influencer and whoever is managing you. So it could be an individual agent, a marketing agency, a manager, they're all kind of thought of as, as the same thing. Um, so uh, when you do establish a relationship with that person, their job is going to be to go out and bring the influencer potential sponsorship opportunities. Uh, and a contract needs to be in place uh, so that there are no kind of ambiguities about the relationship. Uh, and I'm going to go over kind of what needs to be in any kind of uh, influencer management contract. So first, uh, the term of the agreement. A term refers to the length. And so in almost any contract, it's going to list how long it lasts for and then whether it automatically renews after the end of the initial term. So for most social media influencer management contracts, it's somewhere between three to five years. And then it may or may not have a language that states it will automatically renew for successive one-year terms after the original or initial term ends. Uh, there will also be a section called termination, which will then dictate how the agreement can be terminated. I, the last thing you want is an influencer is to get into a management contract with someone that is not doing their job uh, or you're unhappy with the sponsorship opportunities they're bringing you. So you absolutely need some mechanism to terminate the contract and move on. Uh, and you would do that through what's called without cause termination. So in the contract, um, there'll be kind of, as I stated before, ways to terminate the contract. And usually those uh, will include four, four ways. So one, if the initial contract just ends, it's not renewed, contract's terminated. You can um, terminate a contract through mutual agreement. So uh, if it, either party at any point is like, you know what, this isn't working out, they both agree, you know what, you're right, and we're going to just ignore the rest of the terms of the contract, you can mutually agree to terminate the agreement. You can terminate contract for cause, meaning if one of the parties is in breach of contract, then uh, you would give them written notice, then they'd have a period to fix whatever the breach is, and if they wouldn't fix it, you can terminate the agreement. And then the last thing, as I just said, is without cause termination. This is easily the most important thing that needs to be in any kind of uh, influencer management contract. And this allows either party to terminate the agreement for any reason at any point with a certain amount of notice to the other. So normally it's gonna be somewhere between 30 to 120 days notice. So let's just say you're an influencer, your manager's doing a terrible job, you wanna find someone else, then if you had 60 day notice, you would give them written notice saying that I'm going to terminate the agreement and then there'd be a 60 day you know, period where the relationship would end. And then after that 60 day period, the contract's terminated. And then the influencer can go off and find a new manager or agent. Uh, if it's not in the contract, it's an enormous red flag because one, uh, I guess the kind of leverage in being able to terminate the contract at any point keeps people on their toes. The agent will work harder. <laughs> Uh, if, if someone knows that it, they have an influencer locked in, uh, they simply might not work as hard. Now that, you know, logically an agent's goal is to make money for you uh, and themselves. And so they're going to try to bring as many deals as possible, but it's just human nature. Uh, if there isn't the kind of specter of losing someone, they're just not going to work as hard. Uh, and then if they're doing a terrible job and you want to get out and you can't, and it's an exclusive management contract, you are stuck uh, unless they are in breach of contract. So absolutely needs to be in there. Uh, compensation. So how much are you going to pay the manager or agent? Um, it will be a percentage of whatever deals that are struck. Uh, a normal percentage is around 20%. Uh, and then another uh, very important thing is what happens after the contract ends? So uh, in almost any contract, it's gonna state that the manager will continue to get a percentage of any deals that they brought to you and that you've you know, signed up for and have begun uh, for a period of time, usually that's a year. So for instance, let's say you're in fitness and someone brought you an apparel marketing sponsorship, the, con you know, the influencer decides to terminate the agreement. Well, the manager is still gonna get 20% of that apparel marketing 
uh, or apparel, uh, you know, fitness opportunity for a year after the contract is terminated. So you're going to still have to pay your old manager for any deals that they brought you for a year. Uh, now that's certainly something that can be negotiated. You can either negotiate the amount of time you have to pay them down or maybe reduce the percentage over time as well. Uh, but that is something that every uh, influencer should be aware of and it likely will be in the agreement. Uh, what happens if there's a dispute? Uh, where can you sue them if it gets to that? Is there some kind of arbitration clause? Uh, you, you need to know kind of what the dispute resolution process will be uh, and then where that will take place. Uh, and then uh, last, the responsibilities of the parties. So what does the influencer have to do and then what does the management company have to do? That will be spelled out in detail as well. Uh, it, this, this is uh, an important first step for most influencers. Uh, now, to be clear, these are different than just sponsorship contracts. So you likely will sign some kind of sponsorship agreement with the people that you're working with and, you know, and create videos for or Instagram content or TikTok or whatever it is. Uh, this contract is just between you and your agent. And then uh, if that kind of starts off on the wrong foot, it can cascade and certainly can cripple an influencer's career going forward. So this base contract is extremely important to get right first time. Uh, all right. Well, uh, if you have any questions about your uh, potential influencer management contract, you can always call my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description, or you can reach us through our website, ShellyLaw.com. Uh, if you thought the video was helpful, like, subscribe to the channel. We release videos every single day. All right. Appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.